today we're going to make, literally make flower prints. So we're using white material, any old white material that is um, no longer being used at home, like an old sheet is very good for this. You can cut it into um, a square this size or that sort of size. And the idea is that we will make these little pictures. You can either frame or, or you can just seal them with PVA glue afterwards and just mount them onto cardboard. So over here we have a selection of flowers that we're going to use. Um, a lot of these you should be able to find in your garden at the moment. Marigold, uh, wild poppies, really beautiful colour there. Some sweet peas, oh, if you haven't got them yourself, maybe your friend's got some. Obviously if you do have flowers from anyone else, remember about social distancing. Um, Californian poppies, but really you can use anything in your garden or that you find that's got a colour in it. And we're also going to use some green from these strawberry plants, but any green plant you could use um, to do this with. So we open up our piece of material and we're going to do this in layers. So it's a bit like screen printing in fact. So you can either take the petals off and just place them fairly randomly on your sheet. Let's do it on the one half and then it will be like an ink print when you fold over something. I'm going to fold it over. Make sure you've got a chopping board underneath on your table. Um, and we've used a bit of cardboard to deaden the sound as well. But if you've got any old um, bits of material that you could then again add underneath to take the sound of the rolling pin away. Because what we're going to do now is using this end of the rolling pin, we're literally going to bash the material onto the flower to make the print. to do this um, straight away with the flowers um, while they're fresh to get them the, most of the colour out of them. We can also roll it over like that. A slightly different effect. your first layer. Open it up. Peel off the flower. Probably actually try this leaving it on as well. Oh, was that rain? Take another puppy. Slightly different one this time. Petal off. Hold it over again. the yellow now. I'm going to put the yellow on the inside. You've got some differentiation. And I'm going to start using the petals to make an actual pattern of sort of the arm sort of gearing it towards. The 
is what we've got so far. So it's literally almost a bit like an ink print where you put ink on one side and fold it over and smudge it. But you've got all these lovely natural colours. We go for a, a different kind of orangey yellow there. And we'll just scatter them on there like that. And I think we'll get some of this very dark purple one in the middle here. Hold that over. It's a really nice deep purple there. That's what we have at the moment. It's quite interesting actually because the colours that are coming through on the cardboard are actually blue. So the pigments are differentiating. A bluey green there. We're going to go for leaf now. We'll get some nice green on there. Um, either side. So really you can use anything that you find as long as it's not a stinging nettle and always wash your hands afterwards. on the other side actually. So there you have, you've got um, three or four or five different colours there. So as you go on you can just keep adding more and more, layering it up or you can leave it um, slightly subtle so there's not so many layers and fewer colours. So if you were to mount it onto something like that and then you can seal it with PVA glue so the colours stay for longer once it's dry.